Hey, hey, what's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, Ivy Tab, back at you. Shit. Well, when you work fucking seven days a week for the past month and you only have one fucking night to do some camping, you head up here at fucking midnight. The old cookie did pack up the train car running. Signs out there with them on my mind. Since I was born, my head been open. Songs from a different place and time. I'll take you on a midnight drop nowhere. Alright, guys, got tents set up. Got my air mattress blown up, and I know it's late. Or early, however the fuck you want to look at it. But um, I'm pretty fucking hungry, so I'm going to get some uh, a late dinner going here. Um, dig up, pick up some new gear. I'll show this better off in the morning. We got some light, but I uh, picked up a new pot. So the uh, Snow Peak Titanium 900. Um, and then to go along with that, I got the uh, the new uh, Pocket Rocket 2 stove. This thing is pretty fucking kick-ass. Um, I wanted to start trimming some weight off my base weight. So um, shaving, shaving ounces wherever I can these days. Because uh, I've got less than six months before the AT, so let's fire this bitch up and get some dinner going. That's some ghetto ass cooking right there. Alright, motherfuckers, it's pretty late and I'm pretty fucking tired, but I got some food in my belly. We'll holla at y'all in the morning, alright? Good night. Good morning, you motherfucking sunshines. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the money shot. Cheers, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. Now I can fucking function. Alright guys, so we crossed over Black Balsam Knob. I know it's cloudy over there, but that's Black Balsam Knob over there. We just crossed there. And uh, we're heading over, over this ridge line here, following this path. And up over there is Tenant Mountain. On the other side of that, we'll head into the Shining Rock Wilderness up towards Shining Rock, so. Well, shit. It's been one hell of a morning. The clouds broke, sun's shining. This is by far my favorite time of day to hike is when the sun is rising. I'm more of a get to camp early, wake up early, and get on the trail early kind of guy, so. Uh, almost at the top of Tenant Mountain right now. Probably got another 100 yards or so. And uh, we'll check out the view from the top. It's pretty fucking spectacular. All right, motherfuckers, so just passed over officially into the Shining Rock Wilderness. If you're camping overnight here, bear canisters are required. Just ran into a couple old timers at the uh, Shining Rock Wilderness sign. So they haven't seen any sign of bears, but they're around here. Uh, had a mom on my, and a cub come into my camp a few weeks ago. Um, harassed my ass for four fucking hours from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. Kept coming in. Mama or the cub would come around to my fucking tent, sniff my tent, scare them away. They come back for four fucking hours, and I had my food hung, shit, way the hell away from my camp. But the bears around here are like garbage men, just make the rounds of different campsites every day. So um, it's because dumbass people don't know how to dispose of their food properly. Leave no fucking trace, people. It's not that fucking hard. Take a look around your camp before you leave. Clean up. Leave it better than when you fucking came in. The Art Lobe Trail is notorious for no fucking water sources, so if you ever come out to hike this trail, load up when you can, even if it's a fucking small trickle, 
just to load up and drink water at the water source because you don't know when you're going to find your next water around here. So. Well, so much for keeping dry socks. Ugh, I got an extra pair of darn tests in my pack. Well, shit. Check that out. That looks pretty badass, huh? That's shiny rock. Check out the view from here. Pretty nice. Well, can't complain about my view for lunch up here at Shiny Rock. Shit. Got me some motherfucking Slim Jims. Got me some motherfucking Cape Cod chips. Non-GMO for all you hippie motherfuckers out there. Goddamn delicious. Shit. Climbing back up Tenet Mountain. Um, it's definitely a quad killer. All uphill. But a wise man once said, Don't be a fucking pussy. And that wise man was me. So shut the fuck up and keep walking. <laughs> Shades of black is where I come from. Yep. All right, guys, I'm going to show you my new cook setup I got here. I'm trying to shave some weight before I hit the AT. So that's less than six months away, so I got to start fucking uh, reducing my base weight a little bit. But um, I've replaced two of my big three. They haven't come in the mail yet. One's coming tomorrow. I'll do a review or open unboxing of that when it comes. But now that I do have my new cook setup, I'll show you that real quick now that I got some light. Um, they can pick up the new uh, Pocket Rocket 2. This thing's fucking badass. I've used it like three or four times. It's loud, but it's real powerful. It heats water pretty damn quick. Um, you do need a lighter as opposed to my jet boil, but mini bakes last forever. No big fucking deal. To go along with that, I got the uh, Snow Peak Titanium 900. Um, this pad is really fucking light, featherweight. Um, I've used it probably two or three times. I dig it. The 900 is maybe a little overkill for what I use it for, but I mean, it's so fucking light you don't even notice it. The only thing I don't like about this pot is this lid for it. This lid rattles like a son of a bitch. It doesn't stay on there. You gotta wrap something around it. So I think I'm gonna dish the lid and just use aluminum foil over top when I need to boil water quicker. So um, got a sponge to clean it out. And if it's the stove, the fuel, small fuel canister, the sponge and the lighter all inside the pot. So good times. All right, motherfuckers. Hope you enjoyed this semi overnighter. Um, this is just a way for me to get my fucking sanity back because I haven't had a day off of work in over a month So uh, even though I had to come up at midnight to do it. I needed some fucking tent time. I needed some trail time So uh, 10 miles on trail with Roscoe was just what I needed to get my fucking sanity back um, But I've got three days coming off in October, so I'll plan something bigger for you guys But right now I need to save money for this whole fucking through hike next year, so I'm buckling down Refining my gear. I'm getting some more new lighter shit. Um, I got a new pack coming in the mail tomorrow So I'll do an unboxing for that uh, when I get it, I've got a new quilt coming in the mail. I'll show you that when I get that. But in the meantime, it's your boy, I be tight. Roscoe B. Waggletails. I'll let you motherfuckers later.